What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today I want to talk about five things you need to be doing before World Tier 5 releases this Friday. The first thing is ranking up all of the specializations that are available. If you only have one specialization ranked up as of now, you definitely need to be working on the other two. I have two done. I'm working on Demolitionist right now. I'm about halfway through it. But definitely make sure you at least rank one more up. Not the one you're using, but a different one. Because when it gets to harder in-game content, you may need different specializations. And if you only have one equipped, that won't be a large help to your team. So make sure that you have as many specializations as you can ranked up. That way you can just go back and swap to that particular specialization that you or your group may need. Next thing is farm material. Especially if you do not get to play a lot, make sure before Friday that you are maxed out on all the material that way, when you need to recalibrate new items, you do not have to go out and farm material as well as farm new gear. So max out that material. I'm, I'm sure come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, after World Tier 5 is released, you're going to have to go farm a lot of material for the next several weeks anyway. But you want to be prepared for the first few pieces of gear that you get if they are really good so you can recalibrate them as quickly as possible. Farm faction keys. I know that's going to sound funny. Because if you already have the chatterbox, that's what most people farmed the high end keys for, was to get the chatterbox pieces. But all in all, these keys can be farmed every 24 hours. The boxes can be opened every 24 hours. And there's always good loot within these boxes. So the more faction keys you have come World Tier 5, you start finding these boxes in locations. You can open those up and maybe get some really good loot out of them. So make sure that you have enough faction keys to open boxes as long as you would like every day. That way you can get good new loot drop the next thing would be keep gear and if you have not been hoarding up gear definitely go to control points and hoard up that gear you want to keep things with good talents and good attributes on it that way later on you can re-roll some of those good talents those good attributes on the new world tier 5 gear now if you're like me you've hoarded a lot i've been going through mine lately keeping what i absolutely think i need the rest i have been marking and selling or marking as junk and selling it you're also going to need currency to do all of this recalibration because in case you do not know, once you recalibrate the same item multiple times, it costs more and more each time you recalibrate it. So always keep that in mind. Currency is a good thing to have a lot of just kind of like materials is as well. Uh, the last thing I would say was make multiple loadouts. And I don't mean you have to have a tank build, a DPS build, a healer build, all of that. If you like to run DPS, make sure you have multiple DPS loadouts with maybe an assault rifle and a sub. A LMG and a AR, a LMG and a rifle, an LMG and a sniper, whatever the case may be, kind of like the specializations that we talked about to begin with, you may get into a situation where you need a different weapon and it's good to have multiple loadouts, so go ahead and get those prepared now, so if you need to swap later on in World Tier 5, you can very quickly. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it, of course if you liked it, hit the like, if you had not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.